Good morning, friends. I pray that wherever in the world you are right now, that the next two minutes are a blessing to you, so you can be the blessing to the people the Lord has put around you today. So here's the deal about me. Um, I, uh, I have, not just in our present times, but um, historically, I have been an absolute nut about um, staying away from people who are sick. I realize this is a thing that I have going on, um, but I don't want to get sick. I don't want to get other people sick. And I don't know if this is um, because I just hate being sick and I get super miserable, even with a common cold, or if it's because of my background of being a nurse. But either way, I realize that I am on the very, very, very cautious side. And as I was doing some reading this weekend, um, in a book and it was about um, sin and sin in our lives and um, just this kind of process of holiness and um, the idea that when the Lord reveals sin in your life that you are to expel it. Um, he reveals it to you so that you can see what's going on and so you can then hand it over to him with my sin so that he can cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Anyway, as I'm reading this book, it's occurring to me that while I go to great lengths to avoid getting sick, um, to avoid having my kids get sick or my parents, anybody around me, I do not go to those same great lengths. Um, I don't even think about going to those same great lengths to expel sin in my life. And all throughout scriptures, God talks about the importance of bringing our sin into um, the light of his forgiveness. And you don't have to get much further than reading the Proverbs um, and you see this. So I'm going to read from the second half of Proverbs 4.23, starting in verse 20. Uh, My son, my daughter, pay attention to what I say. Turn your ear to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to one's whole body. Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Keep your mouth free from perversity. Keep corrupt talk far from your lips. Let your eyes look straight ahead and fix your gaze directly before you. Give careful thought to the paths for your feet and be steadfast in all your ways. Do not turn to the right or to the left. Keep your foot from evil. So anyway, as I was reading all of this, I had a moment where I had to just confess to the Lord on... my very lazy attitude towards sin in my life. Um, So I just uh, pray that you would be better than I've been um, at guarding your heart um, for everything you do flows from it. And I pray that you would remember that today as you go out or stay tuned today and be the blessing. Till next time, Katie.